So we just stopped for a quick break on our ATV adventure. Uh, gonna jump back on right now and more trails. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. Now this is my first moto vlog, so I hope you guys like this. If you guys do, maybe we'll do some more of these when I get more bikes in the future. But today I'm actually just riding around on this ATV uh, here in Loreto, Mexico. So I was invited down for this awesome wellness retreat weekend at Danzante Bay. Um, and there was a lot of opportunities to do things like exercise and uh, drink green juice and things like that. And rather than show you guys that part of my week, I figured I would just kind of give you an overview as I rode around on this ATV because it'd be a little more interesting than the normal stuff that uh, I was doing this week. It was pretty pretty mundane, a lot of awkward sit-ups, a lot of uh, green juice and cleanses. Um, the best part was I did get a trip to the spa with a 15 minute massage, which was really good. But it's my last day, and they were really nice to let me get out on an ATV. They usually have only like groups of 10, and they didn't have anyone else doing it, so they, they made special arrangements to have a guide take me out on the ATV, which is really cool. So, cruising along, we're here in Loreto. Now, Loreto is in Baja Sur, so it's southern Baja, California. And it's kind of a remote place. To get here is a little bit of a trek uh, if you're not in Los Angeles, Tijuana, or for some reason, Calgary, Alberta, of all places. Those are the only places that have direct flights to Loreto. Uh, but if you can get to Los Angeles, which you can from any major airport in the U.S., you can fly from Los Angeles to Loreto on Alaskan Airlines, which is what I did. So I went from Dallas to L.A., L.A. to Loreto. Now, this resort is owned by a big group. They have timeshares and hotels and all this stuff on the property and the property is fairly new they're really developing it out so a lot of cool stuff to do here i'm actually going to show you guys some drone footage i shot yesterday of the resort now and as you can see i mean it is an extensive big property there's the huge golf course this gigantic private beach here at the bay um there's hiking trails. I went on a seven mile hike yesterday, which was really cool. So I've been able to get out and really enjoy the property quite a bit. And it's been a lot of fun. Now they did fly me out here for this, but I'm not being paid. So this is just kind of like they invited me to come out and check out this new resort um, and take part in their wellness week, which I feel like, eh, that could be good. I need to lose a little bit of weight anyways. So, uh, but we're cruising along here. I mean, you're at the beach. Uh, you're in the mountains. You've kind of got a little bit of everything here. And the nice thing is, is that once you're on property, it's pretty much all all inclusive. Now, yesterday we also did a really cool thing. We went out on a whale watching trip and I'll show you some of that footage here. And it was great because we saw blue whales. We saw this huge pod, what we thought were dolphins at first, but they turned out to be porpoises, which are pretty much like smaller dolphins, I guess. They're very dolphin-like, but we, <laughs> we went out and uh, went on this uh, great boat ride, saw a bunch of blue whales, saw a bunch of dolphins and all that. So that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, so just been kind of having a lot, a lot of fun here. It's my first time to Mexico where I really haven't been here for a motorsports race or an event, and I really haven't been covering like a motorsports race or participating in one. So it was kind of nice to actually get out and stop and explore some of these little towns. And I've actually been through Loreto before, but I've never actually had a chance to stop because we're usually going 125 miles an hour as we blast through the town to the next checkpoint. So never actually been to Loreto other than. Uh, passing through so to get out and really explore it was pretty cool we actually went down to downtown and checked out the old town the old missions and all that and it turns out that loreto is actually one of the first cities uh founded by the spanish in california in the california region and it was the first colonial city in baja california now we're on these little hondas and these hondas are pretty good i mean it's a four speed five speed um auto, semi-automatic, kind of easy to ride ATV. Uh, I don't really like the thumb throttle on these, but it's not bad. But, uh, you know, if you are gonna come down here, uh, the ATV ride is kind of fun. It's not fast paced or anything like that. It's pretty much set up for beginners, but figured you guys would at least get a kick out of seeing some of the terrain. It's better than, uh, I guess, just yoga on the beach type of videos. Um, no, and I do not wear yoga pants, so. <laughs> 
but yeah this uh this has been a good adventure it's been a good time to come down here and really explore more of mexico in a different way because like i said i've done a lot of videos where i'm in mexico doing races like rally historico um doing stuff with wide open baja you know driving baja cars and motorcycles and, and race cars around mexico has been a lot of fun but it was kind of cool to get out and really try a different little flavor of Mexico. So I've been working on a lot of new content for the channel and I really hope you guys will like it and uh, we're working on a lot of different things. We've got some other projects coming up. I'm trying to do a mix of like higher quality, more produced stuff where I'm actually working with a production team like my video from Coda. We actually had a sound guy and a camera crew and all that stuff and went out and filmed that stuff with Pirelli which was really fun. And then more just kind of vlog and lifestyle stuff where I kind of just take you guys along with me like that little quick video I did in Waco where I just found that car auction. So if you guys have suggestions about what type of content you want to see on the site, let me know because we've got a lot of cool stuff coming up. We'll be going back to Mexico. This time we'll be going to Cabo. That'll be coming up very soon. And that's going to be more resort-like and kind of travel. But, you know, if you guys want to see a vlog from Cabo, we can do that. Um, there's a lot, of, a lot of cool stuff coming up. I'm really excited about some of the new things we have coming up. Also, I know a lot of people have been asking about a building update. Um, we've actually had more messages about that than any other videos that we've done. So uh, if you've checked my old videos, you know that about a year ago I bought a building in Grosbeck, Texas. And we've been kind of going through it and doing some work on it. And update is not much has changed since last summer um, it's been a lot of rain and a lot of cold weather here in Texas we had snow a couple weeks ago which was really crazy so uh, we are working on the building but the biggest problem is that we had a contractor that we hired we paid him a deposit to get started on the work and then he basically just took off so not only were we out all the time waiting for him and all the excuses he was giving us about getting the work done but we're also out that money so um, we're trying to track him down and see what we can do I don't know if there's much we have legal recourse wise to do but um, he's kind of just absconded with our money and wasted a bunch of time so uh, my only other option right now is to really get in and do more work on it myself which I'll probably be doing so that's that's kind of what's going on with the building I should have another video on the building once we get some more project stuff done uh, we just are planning to also to go to a a couple of other shows in April and May which are gonna be pretty cool a little different kind of um, more stuff focused on some of the lifestyle aspect of the state channel we do on the website so that'll be kind of cool and we hope you guys like some of that content but yeah, I mean, other than that, it's just been <laughs> uh, it's just been kind of uh, fun uh, exploring and trying new content. We've also had a lot of people asking us about doing some type of podcast, and that's something that we are working on, where I just talk about the week's news in cars, tech, and stuff like that, stuff that I'm interested in, and it's basically the stories that are on the gentlemanracer.com. So that's probably another another thing that we'll see come out pretty soon on this channel here. But again, if there's anything you guys are wanting to see or other videos you'd like to be interested in seeing, you know, we've done IMSA, we've done NASCAR, we haven't done Formula One yet, we haven't done MotoGP yet, um, but we've got a lot of other adventures that we're working on, um, and hopefully we'll have some of those, those videos up on the site pretty soon. So, yeah, the... Uh, the area out here, this this ATV tour isn't super high paced or very fast or anything like that. But uh, if you are wanting to get away from the hotel and get a little bit of a, a I guess, adrenaline push, I mean, you're not really going too fast, but it is uh, definitely more fun than lounging for me. I'm not much of a sit on the beach and relax kind of guy. So when they said, do you want to take an ATV out? I said, absolutely. Other updates on the site I guess we could talk about as we plug along here on our little ATVs. Um, website's got a lot of new stuff, a lot of new products. Uh, we've been featuring a lot more menswear stuff, been doing a lot more with travel and technology and things that are kind of car related but not directly car related. So. Uh, the stuff that I like, so a lot of stuff with watches. We actually got some really cool watches that we're doing some reviews on that are coming up. Those videos will be here on the site as well, so hopefully you guys will like those. One of them is a very interesting watch called a Talker, um, which is kind of a cool uh, vintage style watch that's actually made out of old World War II plane parts, which is pretty interesting. Uh, and then we've got some wooden watches from another company and some other interesting watches that are going to be coming up on the channel here. So. 
yeah, like I said, we're kind of branching out and trying to do more video content. We've been working with a really good production company out of Austin, Texas, who's been helping us with some of our uh, bigger projects, and hopefully we'll get more, uh, more and more higher quality content out of that. Do you guys like the supercar McLaren stuff? I mean, we've been getting a lot more opportunities to do stuff with supercars, but I kind of feel like there's so much of that content out there. Other things we've been thinking about is getting like a Radwood era project car and building a car and uh, doing Radwood next year and kind of doing some fun stuff with that. We've also been discussing picking up like a, a used wrecked car from Copart and doing like a build for a race car and taking it down to Mexico down here to do some racing, which would be kind of fun. Uh, so there's a lot of things we've been kind of playing with, but I just want to make our channel a little different and really kind of differentiate it from the rest of the the YouTube channels that are out there. There's so much stuff where it's just like over the top, you know, we bought a Lamborghini and wrapped it or, you know, regular car hoonigan stuff. So we kind of want to have stuff that's a little different. And I really want your guys' feedback on that. So if there's stuff that you guys want to see on the website, let me know and I will be happy to try to integrate it into the website or into the video content. And if you guys are interested in the podcast, please let me know down below because there's a lot of cool stuff we could do on the podcast. I've had several people uh, who I've talked to about doing a podcast that are interested in being co-hosts or guests and things like that. So we could have some pretty cool people on uh, both here from Texas and both from L.A. And the nice thing with the podcast is really we could take the laptop and the microphones and set up and record it almost anywhere. So that's kind of a cool thing about that. So as I travel around, we could do some cool segments with people uh, at different events and different parts of the country. So, yeah, that's kind of where we're at now. Um, I'm just going to keep cruising along here. As always, thank you guys for watching. If you would, please like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribing really helps us. We are trying to grow this channel and do more fun video stuff for you guys. We actually have an awesome package we're going to be giving away too. Uh, me and the team have been putting together and collecting stuff. It's going to include some really neat products like wireless headphones from Pirelli, some really exclusive uh, products that were given away only to like influencers and media and some other clothing and stuff. It'll be a really cool prize package and we're going to give that away when we hit 5,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, the only way you can win is to be a subscriber here on YouTube or encourage your friends to subscribe so we can get to 5,000 and then pick someone at random to win that awesome prize package. Uh, again, guys, thanks so much for watching and let me know what you want to see more of in the comments down below.